here in Tenerife, there's the third highest volcano in the world and the biggest mountain in Spain, which is just behind here. And we're going up here today to look at the soils, which will be ace. Can you make sure everybody comes out? Let's go. We're about to get on the cable car. It's really exciting. We've got our tickets. So we're ready to go. We're in at the foot of, well not the foot, the foot of the beginning of the cable car to the top of El Tede. And it's a good 1,500 meters still to go. What we're looking at over here is the, the original caldera wall from the original eruption. And then the, we, this is all pushed up successively through successive volcanic events that have occurred since that time. Up here, and then we gotta head back down. Okay, just so we're, uh, we're at the top of well, not quite the top of Mount Teddy, the big volcano on Tenerife. Um, the summit's just behind us there. Well, we're just looking to see if we can spot some fumaroles, which are just vents, areas where we have venting, gaseous venting from the this is an active volcano, so there's still uh. Uh, uh, very shallow geothermal activity going on. So we have uh, the, an active caldera underneath us here that has the potential to erupt. It, the last time we had an eruption here was approximately a hundred years ago and so it could go at basically any time. We're here at a soft deposit. It really, really smells, but it's really warm. So it's really some really warm sulfur. Uh, <laughs> it really does stink, so I'm going to go. We're at the top of the mountain, well not quite at the top, the top's just up there a little bit. Um, we're at the last main viewing point really, and you can see the volcano, the last, the 1909 eruption. It's bad times man, lightheaded, feeling it. It's been a lot of work getting to this height, 300,000 metres. And it's been that bus ride all the way up. That killed me. Then the cable car. About to walk the last hundred meters. A lot of work. A lot of work. It's not easy. But uh, obviously it's all worth it. It's just sort of an opportunity to give the students the chance to look at the volcanism from the top and get a perspective, you know, of the whole landscape that's been generated from years of these successive eruptions and volcanic events.